<laughs> this dragon is nuts. He got knocked out for like two seconds. What's going on YouTube family? Welcome back to another video. This is my first and blind playthrough of Skyrim and we are on episode 28 today and we're going to be getting right into the action of it. Uh, we just made it to Karth Spire in the previous episode and I always try to put the previous episode up in the corner there if you can, if you want to click it to watch it. Uh, it only pops up for just a few seconds so um, it should be there. If not, I have a Skyrim playlist as well if you would like to catch up on the previous episodes. Thank you so much to everybody that has been supporting the video still. Um, you know, we're on episode 28 and that is just so awesome of you guys to to still be wanting to watch and see my journey. I really want to finish the main quest. That is my goal. And then, you know, periodically work on the side quests as well and try to finish the main quest within like, uh, you know, 70 episodes or something. We're going to find out. We're going to find out together. Um, but yeah, I think that is it. So let's get into it and see what's going on. We just met up with Delphine and Espern. And stuff's going down. Let's just say that. All right, and we gotta level up. So I should probably go ahead and do that. But I'm like healing right now. Oh my god! Hold up! Hold up! Let me go ahead and uh, heal. Sheesh. Hide leather, elven, and glass armors. Okay, everyone's telling me I need to get better armor and like all this and that. Um, thank you guys for your tips. Um, but you know, like I said, you know, I'm just playing how I play and uh, figure it out as I go. And I know, you know, at some point I'll probably want to upgrade. But I love my like my outfit right now. It's so nice. It's so cool. Um, but yeah, I think if I do upgrade my armor, I guess I'll do elven. So we're gonna look at that after this stuff goes down and then we'll try to figure it out from there um so oh mother of pearl <gasps> dude oh. i'm like stuck on something you're kidding me what the heck is that I have never seen that in my life. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh. I'm so sorry. Did I hit you? We should proceed cautiously. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just freaking... Oh my gosh. I just literally... I can't even speak English right now. Just got blown up, basically. At this point, I might as well take it. Why is there a spigot? Oh my gosh, guys, don't leave me. <laughs> don't leave me yet. Smith's poison. Um, Canis root. A rock warb warbler egg. This battle axe, pretty sick. Yay! Lock picks. I am like so in need of lock picks. It's ridiculous. All right, I'm trying out this new ice. Um, magic. We're gonna see how it goes. Oh, I didn't even notice people dead on the ground. <laughs> Whoa. Nice. That was it. Just like one person. Oh, here we go. 
<laughs> I walked right over him. Whoopsies. We also talked about my shield. I don't think I have a shield though. This sword's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't have my shield with me. How's my blade sword? 18, 10. Okay, mine's actually better. Creature 10, okay. 13 armor for the cultist gloves. The vampire armor is light armor, it has 41. To me, that's armor. Armor rating is at 65. I know like I could obviously make it like way more, but I need to basically, you know, I, I like this hood, but obviously I need more armor for that one. I could wear this headdress for now, but I like that it increases my magicka, you know? I knew it. I was like, do I really not have any armor? I could do this one. Conjuration spells cost 17% less, but I don't think I'm really using conjuration right now. Right? Let me see. No, I'm not using that right now. But I am, I, I am upgrading to Ice Spike. But I do like that the flames cost. Or ten per second. I mean, I might as well fa favor this, I guess, right? Oops. Raise all the dead around you to fight. to do with it. Yes. These are Akaviri symbols. Here, let's see. You have the symbol for king and warrior and of course the symbol for dragon book. That's the one that appears to have a sort of arrow shape pointing downward at the bottom. Okay. So what do you guys want me to do? Do you Figure need this something? Out? It's starting to look like Esbern was right. Are you sure this is the right way? How do we find the entrance to Skyhaven Temple? We should be careful. How do we find? There's no telling what traps and wards the ancient blades may have set. What's so important about me being dragonborn? I feel like I ask it's this every time. It's the prophecy, don't you see? Only a dragonborn can stop Alduin and avert the end of the world. No big deal. But I don't yet know how you can stop him. The prophecy doesn't say, but Aldwin's Wall does, I hope. What happened on the 30th of Frostfall? It was a cold day. The end of Frostfall is nearly winter in the Jerol Mountains. We heard the news at Cloud Ruler by courier, riding hard from the Imperial City. 30th of Frostfall, 171, 30 years ago. The Great War started that day. The Thalmor ambassador delivered his ultimatum to the Emperor Titus Mead, the head of every blade's agent within the Aldmeri Dominion. I knew that day that it was truly the beginning of the end. Dang. We'd best be careful in here. Yes, that's it. The symbol on the pillar on the left. Whatever you did, you hey. can't. Hey! Let's see what those old blades look like. Huh. 
Guys, why aren't we going up there? Isn't that the whole point of the bridge opening? What the? Where are you guys going? I have no clue. And I went down that way because you guys did, so. Is Delphine already up here? Yes. Wait! Why are you stopping? We should be careful here. See these symbols on the floor? Hmm. Esbern's right. Look like pressure plates. We'll cross once it's safe. Be careful. How am I supposed to know which one's which? Esburn? <laughs> They're just like, you know what, you can go. We'll cross once it's safe. Follow the dragonborn ones, maybe? Be careful. You're welcome. Thing. Oh, that was tense. Let me uh, do a quick save here. Wonderful. Remarkably well preserved. Let me sit up in this chest, Mahaha. Nobody get me from that, okay? I can't see ish. Well, at least let me explore first before we have to get my blood everywhere. How crazy this is. Wow. This whole place appears to be a shrine to the Raven. We ended the Akalpiri invasion under mysterious circumstances from its home. Interesting. I know, Delphine! I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything cool. Okay. I verified. Thank you for waiting. That's perfect timing. Gods above, what are you waiting for?
whispering. Look how cool this wall is. Big old dragon face there. There's me. It's supposed to be me. Dragons everywhere. Really lifting up there. Um. Sack of their ark, a mere sculpture of relief. Esbern, we need information, not a lecture on art history. Yes, yes, let's see what we have. Look, here is Ultron. This panel goes back to the beginning of time, okay. when Alduin and the Dragon Cult ruled over Skyrim. Here, the humans rebelled against their Dragon Overlord, the legendary Dragon War. Alduin's defeat is the centerpiece of the war. You see, here is fallen from the sky. The Nord Tongs, masters of the voice, are arrayed against him. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah, patience, my dear. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory and mythic symbol. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. I do shout. You I mean have they to shout. used to shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Hmm? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to Dragon. Or even Alduin himself. Remember, this is where they recorded all the new of Alduin and his return. So we're looking for a shout then. Damn it. Have you ever heard of such a yes. thing? Yes. A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? Yes. I've never heard of anything like that. What do you mean? I've done it. The Greybeards might know. You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. What do you have against the Greybeards? If they had their way, you do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the Civil War or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you, of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septum. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? The Greybeards may have a point. Power is dangerous. Only if you don't know how to use it. All the great heroes have had to learn to use their power. Those that shrank from their destiny. Well, you've never heard of them, have you? I'm and so there are the that. villains. Those that misused their power. There's always a choice, and there's always a risk. But if you live in fear of what might go wrong, you'll end up doing nothing. Like the Greybeards like up on their mountain. Uh, I better go see what Arg Argir, I can't remember his name, knows about this shout. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came calling. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos guard you. Look here, in the nice. third map. The prophecy which brought the Akaviri to Tamriel in the first place, in search of the Dragonborn. Here are the Akaviri, the blades. You see their distinctive long swords. Okay. And now they need their ancient mission fulfilled, as the last Dragonborn contends with all the That's what they are, right? The blades? Are you paying attention, Delphine? You might learn something of our own history. If has You'll anything. have to speak up. I'm a little deaf in my right ear. Any advice for fighting dragons? You're in luck. 
There is a blessing the blades used on the eve of battle. It's supposed to prepare the mind for slaying dragons. I doubt the blessing's effects will last for very long. So ask whenever you're heading out, and I'll perform the proper rites. Uh, what's so important about me being dragonborn? Haven't you been paying attention to anything I I've know. said? I know. Only that me you, to ask you can finally defeat Alduin and avert the end of the world. If we can just find out what shout the Nord heroes used, you may have a chance. Or not. There's no guarantee with prophecy. Merely hope. Thank you. Goodbye, then. Okay. So I guess we gotta go back to the throat of the world, right? But first, we should see if there's anything in here. So much, like so many rooms. Oh, okay. No freaking way. Get me inside. Oh my gosh. Um, hey. Oh, uh, where'd you go? Hey, I thought you guys were hanging out here. They already ran off? Do some snuggling or something? What the heck? Oh, okay, here they are. I was like, what? He said something about giving me a blessing. Okay, I'm going back to first person. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Whose money am I stealing right now? It's so dark. Taking everybody's money. Okay, can you give me that blessing thing? Yes. What is I it? need that dragon slaying blessing. May the scales of the dragon kind splinter at the touch of your arrows and crack under the weight of your sword. That's all there is to it, Dragonborn. Good luck. Thank you. Good one. Thank you. We're just going straight into it. Oh my gosh, there's a freaking blood dragon again. Dude, 
Dude, they're so cool looking though. Bye, I'm dead. Up to level five, yeah, right. You ain't gonna be scared of nothing. like how so crazy looking I guess I could get out my axe or something Blood dragon, but he's shooting frost. I don't know what else he'd be shooting, I guess, but his tail is so cool. Bruce, Broca! you would go up there when I get the axe out. Delphine and them were like, oh, just hang out here. Hang out inside.
gosh, for real? You douche. Like, bruh, you're taking too long to fight this guy. Dang it. using my arrows though. faster way to get your arrows. It's gonna take me a whole hour just to do this. like shooting his little tail works. You best believe I'm gonna make some armor out of you, dragon. Dragon is nuts! He got knocked out for like two seconds! Holy crap! I definitely need this potion. Yeah, health regenerates. Oh my gosh. I gotta just take everything, dude. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Change the target's magicka by five points per s okay, per second for ten seconds. Ooh, I haven't heard this music yet. I'm sorry, I'm so focused. Holy crap, I barely even talked in this episode. did a little bit of damage with the the axe <sighs> just gonna go between these two things right now 
But I'm literally like out of health. Oh, mother of pearl. Dang. You know what I need to do also? I know these iron arrows are not doing that much damage. Eight. Twelve. The. Ten. Yeah, I need to use these other freaking arrows. Fourteen. Um... Switch to the orcish after. And the ancient Nord ones are better too, okay. healing those good arrows left. Oh no. Oh no, what the heck happened there? Crap. Not sure what happened with that arrow. I think it just landed on the wrong thing or something. these. That was weird. Why did I switch them? I must have done something. Come get me. But don't also come get me though. Oh fudge, it hit the wall. <laughs> Now that time I know what happened. It definitely hit the wall, but maybe the last time it did too. Hey? <laughs> I know this isn't doing much damage, but we gotta just do what we can. Oh, fuck. I didn't even get him that time.
awesome. Barely doing any damage. This is tough, dude. Is it always a blood dragon that comes out on this? This is nuts. Finally use some, uh... Oh. It feels a soul gem. I guess maybe I should switch my bow right now. This one does a little bit more damage. Let's do that. My goodness. And then we got these. those for now. So at least we're doing 10 damage. And I guess these steel arrows do 10 damage as well. But they're worth more than these for some reason. Okay. And now we're using a different bow. Because we don't really care about getting the uh, soul gem or whatever. We just need <sighs> Oh, you know what I'm doing wrong? I'm gonna find out. Yeah, okay. Mess that up. So I need this. Favorited and equipped. Right? Unfavor this for right now. It's gonna take me a minute, but that's okay. I wanna at least get him down to like a decent amount of health. Not left. Oh, what just happened? Are you kidding me? Now you choose to fight? I thought I was dead. That was literally so close. Oh lord. Thank you, Esburn, finally for coming out. Oh my gosh. Esburn, I'm sorry. I cannot hear anything you're saying. We're, we're chanting. We're happy. I gotta heal. What are you saying? Yeah, that's what I'm asking you. <laughs> uh. Oh my gourd. That was literally the whole episode, basically, just doing that. Holy crap. We did it, everybody. We did it. I don't even know what, I, what to do anymore. What am I wanting in my hands? Oh my gosh. I just need to breathe. That was so tense. We didn't die. Dang. I know my carry weight's gonna be like crazy in a second. All those arrows I've used. <laughs>
Wow. My first blood dragon taken down. Okay, so what were you saying? I'm sorry. You need some? You'll have to speak up. I'm a little deaf in my right ear. Okay. Well, That's sorry. All. I missed everything you said, dude, because that was in freaking insane. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. Okay, everybody. We we best save. We best be saving. <laughs> Holy freaking crap. I can't believe we did it. Wow. <laughs> He's twerking. Dang. Yeah, whatever Esperon was using though, he's got like fireballs or something. I want that. Yes, please. Oh, I thought that smoke was a fo frost troll from all the way over here. I was like, no freaking way. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. We did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. Alright. I gotta go home. <laughs> I got to go home. Rethink my choices right now of being dragonborn. Oh yeah, I have a book I gotta learn something too. Esper, teach me your ways, dude. Oh, I can finally relax. Let me look at these books here we got. Oh. Apparently I already learned that one. Frost Rune. Cast on a nearby surface. It explodes for 50, 50 points of frost damage when enemies come near. Sweet. Warrior, we have already learned then. Oh my goodness. I, I don't... Okay, I was gonna say, I don't think anyone's open right now. It's late. What are you looking at? Braith. I'm not afraid of you. I feel like Braith... Yeah. Braith needs help or something. <laughs> Boys, girl, dogs, elders. There's nobody I won't fight. Braith, get the f out of my house. <laughs> are you kidding? <laughs> She's literally just like... Came in my house to finish yelling at me. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, I was like, why does this weigh 30 pounds or whatever? 30. I was like, oh, read the wrong thing. That's why. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Hi, Sophie. Can I get a few gold to spend? Please? As long as you don't turn out to be a brat like Braith. There's 25. Thanks. You're welcome. Now where's your sister so I make sure I give her enough too? <laughs> so she doesn't resent me in the future. I got stuff everywhere. I really need to reorganize this place. It's a little ridiculous. Oh, this ruby dragon claw is so freaking cool. I feel like I'm going to need it, though, so I don't want to get rid of it. I feel like I'm going to need it for that dead man's something that I hid into uh, last episode. <laughs> All the ingredient things I have. Okay. I need to use these scrolls. I always forget to do that. Sounds like a pretty cool scroll. Can I reanimate the dragon to fight for me? <sighs> Holy moly, that was uh, something else, man. Oh, and then um, I was told that I could store Draven's bow until I need it. I just wish I had more like weapons racks, more areas to hang my weapons because I think I'm pretty sure all my stuff is like being used right now bunny oh they're all asleep Aww. oh fudge I didn't do that Why 
is getting stuck because I just don't feel like I should have to jump. <laughs> so then I just like never use the jump button. I have this, but I got this axe up, up there. The axe is so cool. I'm about to start using the axe instead of that sword. But yeah, I need to do more disenchanting and enchanting stuff. That way I can... Um, You know, upgrade some of my weapons like everyone's talking about. Um, dang, this purple mountain flower we've used for like almost everything. Invisibility. I was definitely saying invincibility <laughs> one of the last times uh, I was talking about all that. I gotta keep the fire salts for that one guy. Weakness to fire, weakness to frost. Makes sense. stuff in here. I might as well get this out of here. Let's take this. Let's have a better one. Anyway. So can I disenchant these robes and make like a better helmet? I wonder. I should go do that. I'm just gonna start selling these circlets even though I think they're pretty. I already have one of those in there. But like this one at least has conjuration spells cost 17% less to cast, but I don't really use the conjuration spells. Sneaking. Okay, maybe I'll go disenchant some things. Also, this cultist mask is so cool. Dwarven helmet. I have one. I don't even need to keep it, but I just like them. They, they look cool. I do have this helmet, but I just don't like it anymore. But it's kind of cool. I got this at the beginning of the game. I guess I could bring it with me. Yeah, let's bring it with me, just in case I decide I want to use that instead. I'm assuming the Warhammer is a two-handed weapon, right? Makes sense. All the dragon bones. Uh, and any of these questions that I'm asking, you guys can definitely answer. Okay, I should probably take this stuff and put it down the stairs. Illusion spells. Block 10% more damage with your shield. Oh yeah, maybe I should get a shield. When handed attacks. What am I using for a ring right now? Wish you could wear two rings. Destruction spells cost 15% less. Okay. Go ahead and take this. Weapons and armor can be improved 12% better. Take this one. Take this one. Even though it looks so cool. Ring of Minor. Oh, okay. Increases light armor. Sorry about that wedding band. I'm about to just sell it because they're both dead on accident. The war axe is so cool.
Gotta keep the cultist robes, though, because... I haven't really seen any more of the cultists, like, anywhere. Just like this. I'll go ahead and put this downstairs. Because I have a different drawer for those, basically. Okay. I gotta figure out where to make dragon armor. Okay, let's take a little rest. We've done a lot of work today. We just fought a dragon. Get some eight hours, good quality eight hours of sleep. Gonna ignore that Lydia is there. Let's go sell some stuff. This time I'm gonna go to the armory first. The blacksmith guy. Lord Stead's a nice enough little hamlet, but a boring posting for a guard. If a dragon attacks, well, that oh, be a I story. did not mean to do that. But what time is it, dude? 7 a.m. Can I open? Bruh. You're someone who can get things done. I, I like am. that. A bone hawk amulet is so cool. Every time I see it, I love it. Is it better if I make something out of like this jewelry stuff? Does it make things worth more or equal? I wonder. Okay, you open now? Yay. Hey dude, can I buy a weapon rack? We've got small weapon. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Ooh. Undead up to level 3 fleet for 30 seconds. That's a cool axe. Prison people flee. Interesting. Has anybody ever played through all of Skyrim with just like a pickaxe? Because that would be pretty funny. Ooh, that armor looks cool. Elven shield? How have I not found an elven shield at this point? Oh, leather armor of the squire. It'll increase my armor by one? Really? But that would be plus 20 because my hat. Okay, I got it, yeah. Because my helmet is not the best. I get it, I know. But I love it. Alrighty. I'll have one arrow. I might as well just get rid of it. <laughs> so I don't have a bunch of crap. Get rid of that. You need to get rid of these iron arrows. But might as well keep them just in case. You never know. Okay, so I might. I might. Ugh, even though the orcish bow looks so cool. But I might go ahead and try to do the destruction thing. Or I'm sorry. Uh, disenchanting on this one. And make the forsworn bow enchanted instead. And eventually I need to do something with this sword as well. I might switch it to an axe. The axe just looks so cool. Not this axe, but like the smaller ones. Where are they? Like this. It's super cool. 
All right, so that is that for weapons, for apparel. Oh, um, one second. He, I would like to get 10% more for everything I'm selling, please. In business with you. You look like maybe you need a new weapon. Something big, perhaps? An axe, maybe? Or a great sword? No, I'm good. Take a look. Thank you. Okay, let's do this again. <laughs> so let's get rid of that. I want to disenchant that. Okay. Let's get rid of all of that. All of that. The headdress is pretty cool. Also kind of like terrifying. If this was in a scary movie, I would be afraid. Um, I'm sure we'll run into more Forsworn. Conjuration and Restoration. Oh, nice. Oh, let's see if he has some lock picks. One. Okay. Thank Until you. Until next time. Yes. Sounds great. Let's go to Bellathor. I had my Where's my BFF? Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a hop. What up, dude? Every Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Do you have any lockpicks? Thank you. I need all of them that I can get. It's been pretty pathetic, Bellator, I'm not gonna lie. Just got some miscellaneous stuff to sell. Oh, fudge. I was going to put this away. So I was going to do this. Guess I'll keep those just in case. Okay, that is it. Thank you so much. You come back. Appreciate you. We go home and put this away. I'm a dingus and I totally forgot. Excuse me, excuse me. I ain't done nothing. Okay, I remember I put this stuff in here because it was close to my other weapons. I feel like I should just get rid of this amber, but I think I can break it down eventually. Okay. Hello, daughter. I'm at 125 out of 310. This only weighs seven, so that's not bad. Okay. Enjoying the fire, are you? <laughs> Staring into my soul. Holy crap. Hey, the bunnies. The bun. Dang. My dog is terrified to climb the, the stairs, and this bunny is fearless. Hi, cute bunny. Wish I could pet it. That'd be nice. Go scare Lydia out of my room. Grief is a big meanie. I know. She keeps yeah, telling yeah, yeah. Oh what my goodness. Do? Well, I'd say that was pretty eventful. I'm sorry I wasn't as chatty as usual because we were in the zone, that's for sure. But we started the next part of the main quest, which is the Throat of the World. Uh, so it says, with Esperin's help, I've deciphered Alduin's Wall and Skyhaven Temple. It revealed that Alduin was defeated in ancient times by a shout of some kind. So it must be something that we haven't learned yet, I guess. Um, and we're finally getting the hang of the three, you know, Fustura, Fustura or whatever. Um, I'm horrible pronouncing pronouncing things. Um, so I'm excited to learn something new that will knock dragons out of the sky. Maybe the Greybeards can teach me the shout or at least tell me how I can learn it. So we got to talk to the main Greybeard. So we're going to do that in the next episode. If you made it all the way until this part of the video, thank you so much for your support. The secret word for this video to add to your comment or an emoji of this word will be fire because we dealt with that, you know, blood dragon and it was, uh, you know, all going down. That's for sure. So we're going to do fire for the secret word for this one. So if you can add that to your comment, that would be awesome. And thank you so much for your support. 
support and watching the videos still. I'm excited to do the next episode. And yeah, huge, huge, huge thank you to my Ko-Fi members and my YouTube Spud Squad members of the channel. You guys are amazing. I always have their names featured at the end credits here of the, the video. So thank you so much for your extra support and keeping these videos going. And I appreciate you so much and I will see you on the next one. Bye.